This is the Defense News Minute for March 6, 2019. I'm Jeff Martin. More troops, warships, and aircraft could be heading to Europe, at least if Euro European Command Leader General Curtis Scaparotti has his way. During congressional testimony, he told lawmakers that he had requested two more Aegis destroyers to join the four already based in Europe, and that he also needs a full armor division, long-range artillery, a carrier strike group rotation, and an increased use of fifth-generation fighters, all to counter increased Russian aggression. But it's important to note that these are just General Scaparotti's requests, and whether or not those additional units get to Europe remains to be seen. Also coming up in congressional testimony this week was that the Air Force will be extending the life of some aging KC-135 tankers to stop a gap from existing as newer KC-46 tankers enter the fleet. Because the KC-46 program has been plagued by delays, the service has had to plan to increase the life of those KC-135s. In fact, U.S. Transportation Command Leader General Stephen Alliance told Congress that 28 aircraft have already been earmarked to have their service lives extended. To get more information, visit defensenews.com. And thanks for watching this Defense News Minute. Today's video is brought to you by L3 Technologies. Visit L3T.com.